And they're off. That's it. Oops. And, and a couple, a couple of missed strokes from builders. Yes, I thought the same, which gives Trinity a huge advantage. And, and builders are already crossing the river by the looks of it. So if Trinity hold their line, they will uh, they'll have the advantage. faster water. And then is that Bennett's going up? Bennett's inside? are, and they've already got the bumps. The so Bray's nose have. have conceded. Wow. Wow, that was that quick. Was, that was very quick. So uh, that Bennett uh, Hall again, round. extending their... Uh, successful run that's really good and they're pulling their blades in i hope they don't roll over but uh just to clear the racing line for new college who are um heading up oh and that's uh, camera two we can see trinity is still closing on hilders who've managed to hold the distance a little bit after that slightly wonky Ooh. start trinity oh, and trinity... Saying, oh they've hit the bank i think hilders oh and then we've got red hats there bucket hats is bailey old they're going to be bumped from behind by I... Unib. And this is going to be a big old bump. Oh! That was That's not keep, conceded keep early. Running. That's it. Well done, Baylor. That's good, because that was a, that was a huge overlap, way beyond the cops and under the strokes rigger. Uh, so that was a late And concept. it looks like about to come out the gut. It'll be quite interesting to see how close uh, the top two crews are. Merton have got a bit of a way to go if they're going to get this bump on New College. Oh, and they've okay. hit the bank. That's uh, going to slow them down significantly. Oh dear. That's not a good move. And that means Balil, who are on a bit of a roll again, having been bumped themselves, um, they actually now have the advantage to close the gap on the. Oh, and that's a concession oh, that, from St Hilda's. So that's Trinity. Uh, yeah, I believe that's Trinity. Have the bump. That's good. So they need to then get out the way. Uh, absolutely. But there's. Yes, because yeah, they pulled there. away from Lincoln. Now they're getting out of the way. That's good. Oh, there we go, and that's left yeah, the racing line clear. Park. That's the last crew up. Uh, they're the sandwich crew, and it looks like they're not making ground on University 2. I think they're no, probably sorry. quite tired University from their rollover. That's, that's Balliol. Balliol. Um, um, Unit 2 have, have bumped out, of course. It looks like the Merton Cox is taking an interesting line out of the gut. Um, and it looked like Regent's Park were visiting every part of the bay possible. And that is the black blade so that's going to be braze nose uh, i think that's lincoln uh, are lincoln? being chased by braze nose yes but so braze nose looked very very close to the trees at that point but they're now down to less than a length behind lincoln oh so but then new college are coming so this is uh, this Goodness. could be a sandwich on boathouse island and braze nose have already been bumped by bennett's so new college have gained all the space of two crews they they will probably get this bump before Braze knows have a chance to get to Lincoln. Yeah, they're looking a bit scrappy, Gosh. but they're really putting the legs down. You can see the effort going in uh, from all the new members there. And this is Hilders, who have to do the full course, crossing a bit early, taking a bit more time up the middle of the road. But they're, they're actually rowing now better together, although the, the recoveries are slightly less less than level. The boat is, yeah. boat is solid. That's the good thing. The boat is staying level. So there's Bailey all going past they have been bumped they haven't bumped up yet and so, up now. oh and it's all happening uh, at the this end of the green bank closer. here isn't it this is getting closer so bailey uh brazenose have opted for a slightly early cross and then decided to unopt for it by and the look link, of it that's lincoln ahead of them i think they're running away from being bumped by new yeah they really need to commit to that because otherwise they'll get and new are coming for them now new are coming from the now Unless, there we go. That looks like the bump there. Yes, yes they've so caught the blade. Contact. Stroke, you can't stop. You have to keep going. That's it. So that's New College on Brazenos. Which gives one. Merton quite a lot of work to do if they're going to catch Brazenos, but it looks like Brazenos have really uh, they're lost their like a, kind of lost their rhythm mojo. a bit. They've lost the mojo, certainly, if they, even um, if they haven't lost the rhythm. And they're well out from the bank. Yeah, if Merton can hold their line and just keep ploughing away at that rate and that kind of uh, rhythm there, then they'll uh, close that gap up, although they are running out of river. It's only about 500 metres left to go now. They've got two lengths to gain there. And then up at the front, it'd be interesting to see if Lincoln have made any headway. I doubt, don't, they didn't look like they were going to. Though St Hilda's should be up at the finish. And that's Lincoln, isn't it? in white. 
No, they're not going to catch there. So St Hilda's are going right up to the finish. Lincoln are there. And the only action likely is possible is Merton on Bray's nose. Yeah, I think that's um, more of a parallax angle there as opposed to actual... Uh... Well, I don't know, actually, out. that is quite it's close. The Cox so they is can't run away. And the Cox is trying to run away. That is a very good move and from uh, the Merton Cox there. Preempting what's going to happen. And... Uh... Just are keep they away. Contact? That looks like a concession no. there. I saw an arm go out. I think they tried to avoid contact. Oh, they think they've got it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the arm went out of the um, the brazen nose cox. Although it wasn't high, it was a sort of left Gosh, wave. Gosh, but... five strokes from the, from the finish. Oh. It's just steer away from them, isn't it? So you don't make contact when you're that close. Yeah, at that point, I suppose Merton well, had got a bit of a pin on them, so uh, we'll see so, Bray's nose um, rowing. Uh, sorry, yeah. Balliol. There's Balliol rowing, and then uh, coming up is the Regent's Park, the Sandwich Crew. Yeah. Because Unif have bumped Balliol, and I don't think Regent's Park is going to make any headway against Balliol. We saw quite a few bumps. We saw Bennett's all get Bray's nose immediately. Then we saw Univ get Balliol, who was the Red Hat crew going up towards the finish. Then we saw Trinity get St Hilda's. And then we saw New College get Brazenose, who Bennett had already bumped. So Trinity on Hilda's, Bennett's on, and you both on Brazenose. And we think that Merton caught them at the end. Yeah, it looks like it. And then it says Trinity 2 um, will be the sandwich boat for men's division 4. Yes. 